Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, so in this video, I am going to explain to you what happened to the most of tutorials on my YouTube channel um, because I got a lot of very sweet emails with people asking where are your tutorials um, and where can we find them. And for the people that are new on this channel and maybe are looking for the answers uh, regarding uh, monetization, suspension, um, yeah, just keep on watching because maybe I'll say something interesting. Um, it hasn't been resolved yet, so hopefully in a month I'll be able to upload an update um, because I'm still waiting for my channel to be uh, re-reviewed. But anyways, let me tell you what happened. So I've been getting good life, you know, I mean, everything was fine uh, till I woke up last week and I saw an email from YouTube um, that my channel has been suspended from monetization uh, due to a violation of one of the monetization policies and that is placing a sexually gratifying content. Okay, um, so for people that don't really know anything about YouTube, like for instance my friends, you know, nobody understood what I mean and they were like, so what, your channel is deleted or what is it, blah blah blah. I'm just going to explain to you what it is, how it works and you know, like what, what's up with all this YouTube and like what is happening, okay? So YouTube has all those um, policies and um, guidelines that tell you uh, what kind of content you can post on YouTube and you cannot, what kind of content you can make money from, what kind of content, content you can make just a little bit money from and what kind of content is totally not allowed, right? Um, so, of course, it starts from a very obvious thing such as you cannot post porn on YouTube, uh, you cannot do anything that is violent, like beating up somebody, you cannot scam, you cannot be offensive, that, you know, those are rules that should be, like, applied anywhere in the world. So they have, like, a certain categories and then depending on what kind of content you do, you kind of know where to dig in deeper and read about the uh, guidelines to uh, not get into trouble, okay? So I'm going to try to explain it to somebody that doesn't know anything about YouTube um, so that you can understand what happened exactly. Uh, but just to start off very generally, uh, because some people also ask me about it, like, yeah, but there is so much, uh, you know, way uh, more explicit uh, videos on YouTube than yours. There is also very big difference between just YouTube channels and then YouTube channels which are monetized, so YouTube uh, partners, okay? so. When you make it to the certain um, amount of followers and you play certain content that is watched often, YouTube uh, invites you to become their partner, which means that um, you get access to some extra stuff, like for instance, master classes. Um, but then also most importantly, for a lot of people, you can make money of your content unless it's copyrighted. So that's what happened to me. You know, I've been working for many years and I've been placing a lot of tutorials and I put a lot of hard work in it. And at some point, somewhere two years ago, I started making money from YouTube and it started, you know, slow. And then as it became more consistent, it became actually my part-time job. Um, so yeah, that's been happening. And when it comes to those guidelines, what I've learned actually very recently, um, they are a little bit different to, not different, but I feel like they're a little bit more strict and more, um, yeah, they check it more. And yeah, they are slightly different. Uh, rules to people that just have YouTube channels and don't make any money out of it, so they're not partners, and then to people that have their channels monetized, meaning they are YouTube partners, okay? So, as you can probably imagine, when I got this email and um, heard that I won't be able to make money from YouTube at least one month, and then after a month they uh, can review it again, I was, I was terrified, you know, especially because uh, right now in the Netherlands there is another lockdown, that means uh, like my other source of income, which is dance class, has been cut. Um, I cannot give any shows, I cannot teach any workshops, um, so not very good timing. Anyways, um, yeah, I clicked on, uh, on more information button on the page that um, they informed me that this is the situation right now, and I read deeper into them. Um, guidelines. So basically what sexually gratifying means is a very very broad category, right? Because somebody, at least for me, if I hear sexually gratifying I would think like, oh okay, well it must be like really sexy dancing with intention to arouse somebody, right? 
and it's very unfortunate but I also am not stupid and I realized that um, yeah the dancing I do most of the times which is pole dance or twerk is a lot of times sexualized and associated with sexual gratification you don't have to tell me that I know it okay but I mean I guess if you a little bit objective and not judgmental you can also admit that my channel is meant to teach people to move so you know it's a place tutorials okay so they are not from my side meant to arouse anybody or be sexually gratifying but like i said again i do admit that um, yeah that's how it can be uh, that's what it can be associated with okay also before i continue i want to state it very clearly i'm not definitely trying to argue uh, any community guidelines or the rules because I also believe that you know YouTube is, is, is a platform and they have their specific rules and those are the rules that they have and then you can decide whether you want to comply with them or not and yeah then you can decide whether you want to place content or just not be on YouTube okay so don't get me wrong I'm definitely not trying to uh, discuss anything or yeah question it it is what it is but I'm just trying to explain to you what happened yes okay so i am in the youtube partnership program my channel got suspended so i started reading about it and you know i already read the guidelines while i was placing the content because every time you place a video you have to verify it um, whether it's eligible for monetization okay so whether you can make money out of it and then you have to uh, check certain questions you have to answer you have to kind of figure out which uh, category your content falls into so for me for instance i knew that it must be like something to do with nudity and adult content or sexy content okay so you have a whole category on youtube uh, where they describe what is allowed in a sense of like okay you can place it and you can fully monetize it meaning monetize it meaning you get like a green icon and you can make money out of it then there's certain uh, category of content that you can place but you can only make a little bit money out of it mm. and then there's content that you cannot make money at all but i assume you still can place it and there, there are things that you totally cannot post because it will get you in trouble and you get you it will get your channel terminated and those rules you know there are many categories it's not only nudity but of course you know for instance i assume gamers they also have uh, maybe a violence category where it's like explain what kind of content is allowed i mean you can like shoot somebody in game and blood is allowed but this and this is not allowed the same with um you know people talking about stuff like certain explicit language is fine then some things are limited fine you get me i hope you understand so when it comes to twerk I never monetize it fully because um, they specifically explained that uh, hip thrusting and uh, dancing focus on hip movements is um, allowed to be only monetized um, partly, which is the second category, limited monetization. Cool. So I was, you know, placing it and I was just, you know, aware of the fact that I'm not going to be making a lot of money. It's literally like almost zero money from twerk tutorials, but other content such as, for instance, floor work moves, chair dance, or um, uh, the, the heels moves that I placed um, were falling into the category, uh, which is which can be fully monetized because yes, it's, it's still sexy. And I realized that a lot of thirsty dudes find it very, very arousing, good for you. Um, and of course it can be sexy, you know, it depends how you do it, but I cannot emphasize it enough it's totally you know what it is thirsty guys and like having attention from them is really the last on my agenda okay so the, the category um the, the dancing that i just mentioned like the sexy heels it would according to the guidelines fall into the category number one because it is sensual um dancing in a professional setting which means it's sensual yes but it is in a dance studio i'm wearing clothes and it's purely educational um purpose fast forward few days later bam my channel gets totally demonetized so um after that you know i reviewed the um guidelines even more as in like i clicked on the icon to find more information about monetization rules and one thing that i found out is that uh, again sexually gratifying content category um and provocative dancing um is either way not allowed or is age restricted Mm, and 
The provocative dancing is dancing focused on booty, breasts, genitals, and involves fonding and groping, okay? Um, so I was like, okay, cool. And like I said, YouTube didn't delete my channel, they suspended it. Um, and they gave me time to review the guidelines, which I'm doing right now, and uh, fix my channel, right? Like, um, delete the videos that I think violated the guidelines, which what, what makes it actually really, really hard um, for creators like me um, is that when YouTube either way deletes uh, your channel or suspends it, they don't particularly point out which video got you in trouble, which I believe yeah, it, it, it makes it really hard for, for, for us creators because, like I said, I am more than happy to, to, to follow the guidelines um, because, you know, I want to make money out of YouTube and I want to be able to share my content. But after getting this uh, mess, this, this uh, notification, I got really confused as in, okay, but which videos in particular I'm not supposed to be placing? Um, so my common sense uh, made me think, okay, that's probably the lap dance tutorials, which most of you are looking for. <laughs> I'll let you know where you can find them later. Um, and then I was like, that, and probably from what I'm reading, twerk tutorials as well. And one thing that is also making it super hard is that you cannot contact anybody from YouTube. There is no email. There's only one email address that you can use if you are a partner uh, it's, a, it's a support email for partners um, but if you're not a partner and you send an email to this address you get an automatic response um, saying like you're not a partner girl by we cannot help you and i've watched as you can imagine a lot of youtube videos from people that got their channels terminated and a lot of them say that the way they got it back uh, was just through uh, twitter there was no other way to contact youtube to um, yeah, to find any any support, phone number, forget. Um, so people were just recommending to other people to spam them on Twitter, and that's what those people did, and they got their response. They got some of them got respond, and they got their channel back. Okay, so yeah, basically this is what happened. I had to delete them because, of course, I do want to get my channel back, right? And I want to uh, get back into the YouTube partnership program. And once I get into the YouTube partnership program, I'm just gonna use that email and message them asking like okay so how come one of your employees says that twerk is fine but then i get in trouble which videos in particular were the ones that like you know specifically violated the guidelines because you know what it is right now if i look at those guidelines i feel like i have to delete ev like not everything but most of my tutorials you know because even in, in, in some of high heels tutorials or floral tutorial, I, I did touch my booty. So I'm like, okay, does that count as uh, dancing focused on booty, groping and fonding, or is that okay? You know, it's a very gray area and makes it very difficult, of course. Um, so yeah, this is what happened. Um, I wanna say long story short, but actually it's a long story, very long. Um, and what am I gonna do? Well, um, so like you see right now, I'm just trying to delete uh, tutorials that I believe could possibly um, yeah uh, violate to a certain extent the guidelines um, and um, I already was planning to so right now I'm just speeding up the process um, to rebrand my channel a little bit not entirely don't stress it's not like from dance tutorials I'll do I don't know vlogs and makeup no so you know, I've been always very passionate about women empowerment and helping people learning how to move and then gain confidence together with learning how to move their body, yes? Um, and next to teaching people, women, how to dance, I also love to discuss certain topics with people and share my experiences. Um, and yeah, this is what I sometimes also did on this channel. And also, since I do dance tutorials, I decided already some time ago that I want to also place tutorials that involve other dance styles such as hip hop, kizomba, salsa. But for that, I feel like I do have to invite some other teacher to teach us because, you know, I cannot do everything. So this is what I did actually already a few weeks ago. I filmed um, a video with my friend who's a hip hop dancer and I was planning to post it on my channel. So yeah, this is what my channel, I'm sorry for my disgusting coffee. So this is what my channel will look like as in hopefully if everything goes well, I'll keep on posting dance tutorials, which are a little bit more feminine and, and are on heels. Um, 
but next to this I'm also going to place content that um, is uh, related to a little bit of self-love empower and, and women empowerment and you know if there's anything I feel like okay I would like to share it with you guys I'm gonna um, for instance um, you know sometimes like I read a lot of books and sometimes I'm like oh this is actually very interesting and I've learned something like love languages so I'm just gonna share it with you guys as well um, or like confidence tips or like how do I deal with lockdown so you know I'm gonna just you know talk a little bit um, to you and I hope you enjoy it as well. Next to this I'm gonna invite, uh, like I said, guests uh, to, my, to my channel that will teach us um, their dance style. So again, it's also dance tutorials, but not with me. And I also um, want to invite special guests um, where, you know, they're gonna maybe try something or we're gonna do something totally um, unrelated to dancing. For instance, I already made a video with uh, my friend Mo, who I taught how to walk and dance on heels. And you know, it was a little bit funny, but also I hope a little bit informative. informative. And I have on my list um, a self-defense class. You know, I would like to uh, go for self-defense class where somebody could teach me and so teach you also maybe five or three um, self-defense tricks. Mm, so yeah, I have a lot on my agenda and you know, also sometimes, you know, I, I like to share with you my stretching routines, right? Or, or, or workout routines. So yeah, like, like you see, you know, like um, I have a lot planned for my channel and um, yeah, I do know that lap dance tutorials or twerk tutorials are the most common and there are like a lot of people looking for them and um, they, they, they want to watch them. Um, but like I said, Thirsty Dudes, as a matter of fact, to be very honest with you, I'm a little bit happy that this is happening because that forced me to delete most of those stuff and I just know that thanks to this, I am going to get rid of a lot of not very worthy uh, subscribers who are there to objectify me, you know? So there is a silver lining. Um, and of course, I do understand if some of you um, will unfollow me because this is not uh, what you like and what you what you are looking for and what you want to see. That's fine too. But on the other hand, I do hope that, um, yeah, you will give it a chance and that, um, you, you enjoy also other content that I post and if you have any feedback it's more than welcome of course as a matter of fact if you made it so far uh, in this video you must at least like me a little bit so yeah this is what I'm gonna do when it comes to other tutorials that I feel like would not make it uh, through YouTube I actually do have um, a website with online classes so I think I'm just gonna place them there and you already actually can uh, find there a lot of online classes where I teach my choreographies. So um, yeah, I'm still working on it. So maybe by the time you watch this video, it's not ready yet. Um, but um, yeah, if you're looking for a specific tutorial, then you can maybe click in the link below um, and uh, hopefully you find the tutorial that you are missing right now on my YouTube channel. And if it's something, you know, if it's, if, if it's something important and you can't find it, feel free to uh, spam me on my Instagram or on my email and then I can hopefully send you the tutorial that you're looking for um, in the meantime. But yeah, basically this is what, it hap what happened and this is what I decided to do. Ah, I also decided to open um, another YouTube ch uh, ta channel. I don't know if, again, by the time you watch it, it's out. If it is, link in the video, in my bio. But I also will place um, my just dance routines in the other YouTube channel. So, yeah. Follow me on my both channels, please. Um, but yeah, so this is, uh, this is uh, the current situation and that's the reason. And for the people that are looking for help when it comes to this situation, um, yeah, like I said, the, the, the main advice when it comes to monetization suspension um, is to really review the guidelines and then, um, yeah, just delete the videos that you think might be violating the rules. And um, yeah, then you have chance to reapply after a month. Mm, and for people that got their channel terminated, apparently um, you just have to scan uh, YouTube, um, YouTube support, I think, Twitter account. And uh, if you're lucky, they're going to help you out. But yeah, nevertheless, 
you know, if you violated um, big time the, the community guidelines or, or any rules, then, yeah, you can ask for trouble unless you did it unintentionally, like in my case. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how it's going to resolve in my uh, case yet because I'm still in the process. I still have to wait three weeks to review my channel. And then we'll see. Um, so I think that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Um, thanks for watching, you guys. Um, regardless, anything, I hope that you, uh, regardless, everything, I hope that you're having a wonderful um, day or evening and that you are, um, yeah, just good. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy my uh, upcoming videos and uh, hopefully soon I can keep on um, doing what I love and making my living out of it because you know that's also the thing I should have said it earlier but um, yeah I also wanted to point that out that look I love dancing and I love making tutorials and I love like you know sharing uh, my knowledge and experience with people but at the same time I have to pay bills too you know so um, it's just a great um, combination when you can do something you love and at the same time make money out of it but also don't think that it's easy because it takes up a lot of work you know it's not like one day I just woke up and I was like okay I'm gonna be posting tutorials and I'm gonna I don't know talk trash to people and I'm gonna get paid for it no for the longest time like for two years I think I was placing things on YouTube for free because I just like doing it and of course I was hoping that one day it can become my job um so yeah it would be nice if it gets back to this um state of things fingers crossed and um yeah we're just gonna see and in case you wonder how am i doing i mean except for being extremely poor this month um i'm fine because i have this mentality that i don't give up and i don't focus on problems i look for solutions so like i told you i already decided to like review my channel and just almost start over put my other tutorials and online classes on my website so that it doesn't um, interfere with my youtube channel um, and then we're gonna see what happens next and we go from there so that's my advice for you also if you encounter some difficulties in life okay let's end this video here thank you so much for watching and again have a nice day and see you next time